I love old people too, but they smell. I'm just joking. Young people smell too. All right, bees budget. And I can just hand this to my accountant and be like, here. Oh, wait. Bees budget December 2021. Do you think I should take this job? What do you think? I'm not, I don't have a resume or anything. Okay, I'll go there and be like, I don't have a resume. I'm a controversial YouTuber. But uh, I'm also late for my coffee bees every morning. 95% of the budget is. So you remember what I was saying at the beginning of the other one where she was making it sound like she was offered a job? And they know who I am and blah, blah, blah. Doesn't this now sound like she's going to ask for a job? She contradicts herself all the time. Nobody offered her a fucking job. She's a liar. On food. Not 95, but close. Way to pay that tax bill. <laughs> I have no experience. Not with weed. I smoke it. Okay, what do you guys want to do? How much of a budget do we have? I don't even know. Okay, let's, let's come up with a number. 500 bucks. <laughs> this is just for like stupid things. I didn't look for a job. I was ordering my edibles and they can't, they messaged me back and they're like, make up to like $2,000 a week or something. We're looking for drivers. Oh, so that's what it is. And she's flexing because boss bitch and everybody wants her and you know, whatever. Uh, they offered me a job. That's not a job offer. That's like they're short on delivery staff. So they put out a, a blanket like mass text message to every customer that they have. What's the matter with you, Chantal, for real? You are so out of touch. That alone shows that like you, you really don't have experience working. Not too much anyway. Girl, that is insane. Pix, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much for saying that. Thank you for being here. And... Cheers to you for 2022. Y'all, we're going to have a good year. We're going to branch out a little bit. I've got a loud mouth and i got a lot to say. I've played very diplomatic this year and I'm fed up. We're back in lockdown and I got I got things to, to bitch about. Huh? <laughs> we're back in lockdown and I just want to bitch. So then I was like, oh, I have a car and I like weed. LOL. And they're like, can you come for an interview tomorrow? So I'm just like, uh, it's not about the money either. It's not about the money. $20,000? I don't even make that in a month. That's what it is, a weed deliverer. I would love that. I don't know. That's what I'm asking you guys. Do you think I should go for the interview or do you think I'll have time? I'll have difficulty beezing. I would be driving a lot, yeah. Create more fake drama. I'm not going to show up. I mean, like, I could bees in the morning, coffee, pre-work. Do a couple nights a week. Do a couple nights a week. I would like to do nights. So I could do a couple nights a week, a few hours, make good tips too. They're not going to hire her. Listen, for besides the obvious, there's a certain risk involved with being a, a, a drug delivery driver. I don't care, okay? Even if it's legal. She's a sitting duck. They can't hire a sitting duck who could never defend themselves, defend the stock next to them in the fucking car. I do. She's a liability, okay? Nobody's going to hire a liability to deliver drugs all over town. That's insane. La Dida, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Does this place know she has two needy sons? <laughs> Can you imagine she puts that on her fucking CV? I wouldn't put it past her. It's not even, like I said, it's not even, don't have people relying on me. Well, oh shit. What if someone ordered weed and lives on the fourth floor of a building without an elevator? No, you don't have to go in their house. They come out to you. That's the good thing. You literally just stay in your car. And be like, here, that's it. They don't go to your house. They're actually good to me because they come to my mailbox. I'm even in my mailbox. <clears throat> and a bubble mailer. That's I left that in to ask a question to you guys in Ontario. Because that to me was a major, huh? <laughs> uh, are they just leaving the weed in your fucking mailbox like that? That is insane. Is that really what's going on in Ontario? I can't believe that that's what's happening in Ontario. Because in Quebec, that is not at all what happens. You don't go out to a car like it's like an old school drug deal. They come to your door. They ring the bell. 
they have to take a picture of your bag with the sticker that proves it's your order plus the uh what do you call it? like the, the 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 street number to prove that they brought it to the right place and when you open the door they want to see your id to make sure you're of age and can actually legally get what they're selling nobody goes out to anybody's car here uh and and nobody and i mean nobody is just leaving weed in a mailbox i can't imagine that the law is that much different J just one province over there's no fucking way uh i'm looking in the chat to see if any if anybody knows in ontario but Herxy, they have to scan your ID. She's not buying from a legal place. Uh, no, they knock on your door and you come down and show your ID. Okay, so it's like exactly the same as in Quebec, I figured, because that is just fucking insane. Insane. Can you imagine? All it would take is somebody following around a delivery guy all day. Every time he stops and drops something off in a mailbox, you stop behind him and pick that thing up. You'd have a whole car full of free weed at the end of the run. That is insane. Openly avoidant. Thank you again for the super chat, girl. That's all you have to do. Yeah, I mean, worst comes to worst, it doesn't work out. That's what I'm saying. To take the cats along. Uh, anytime I've seen a delivery person, they always have their like somebody with them. So. I wouldn't always have to be alone. Maybe we have an arrangement for him to pay me for the videos. He's, he, you know, even if it's not, it's it's something. You never know. I'm just not talking about our arrangements. That's all. Misha, how many hours a night is it? <laughs> Misha, yeah, I know. I don't. It has nothing to do with Nat or anything. I would be doing it for myself, you know. Ooh, interesting. Ice Cube Canadian. Thank you for the info and thank you for the super chat, girl. It is different in Ontario. You regularly get stuff from the men, and I also get it at their car. They ask for ID, but I do go get it at their car. Interesting. That is so weird. Huh. I mean, I guess it makes the job easier for them. They don't have to keep running up, like, to people's houses and stuff. But, wow. Thanks for letting me know, girl. I appreciate that info. Crack Noir, thank you for the super chat, girl. Koki would be in the car behind her. Oh, God, gross. Driving around with that fucking music blaring. Koki singing at the top of his lung. Oh, my God, they're going to have a car accident. No, 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 knock wood. Nobody needs to put that out into the universe. Don't do it, Chantal. This is ridiculous. Koki and Koki doing drug runs all over the city. I, I <laughs> and, and live streaming at the same time on two channels. Oh, my God, the upper vise. My heart is racing just thinking about that scenario. Sphinx Rain, thank you again for the super chat. I get, I get mine through the mail hole at my house, but sh on that girl. Okay, okay. I, I don't, I don't even see you on the screen there. What? Thank you for the super chat. What? Um, I'm thinking about it, anyways. <laughs> because I don't know, they don't have lemon Z though. I don't think they like different kinds. Before I fall in love with a customer and get a restraining order. Come on now, please interview. Hold on. I'm going to e-message them back. <clears throat> okay, so I just messaged back, like, what time? Tomorrow? I guess that would be, like, yeah. Tomorrow, it's still, like, 11.59, so it's still today. Um, and, uh... <laughs> I'm too hot for this. Stop staring at me. Take care, Oceana song. Check. Chi-Chi. There you go. I don't think it's like a like legit like business. I don't know. I don't have a freaking resume. I'm just gonna go and be like, yeah, I drive. I like weed. I'm smart. I mean, I'm smart enough. Um, can do basic things. I never get tired of sitting in the car. I have a GPS. <clears throat> no, Brie, I'm I'm not supporting anybody anymore. Everyone's getting YouTube money now, so we're all good, okay? <laughs> but I know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, that is fucking hilarious. Oh no, I'm not supporting him anymore. Everybody's getting their YouTube money. Okay, I take that to mean that she's not giving Pete's a damn thing anymore. That's number one. But maybe Koki's paying his own rent and pretending like I'm a baller. Look at me, mommy. I put on my big boy diapers <laughs> and I paid my own rent for the first time in eight months. Okay. But what are you paying besides the rent? <laughs> tell us the tell us the truth. 
Those are, if you're going to talk about all this, people are going to have questions. If he paid his own rent for real, you're still doing all the fucking Baba Ganoush shopping at Adonis and everything else and paying for the party and whatever else, driving him around the city, taking him for new Tommy Hilfiger outfits, letting him keep the TV while your sucker ass goes and buys another one. The third one, by the way, that he's now costing you. Yeah, no. Everyone makes their own money now. She's such a boss bitch. I, in those cases, yeah, I know what you mean. But <clears throat> we have to do the pizza budget. What are we going to do? I don't know what to do. If I should buy another TV or just bring my TV back. What do you think? I, I might do that. I might deliver at night for a few hours. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I can try the dispensaries around here, too. I don't have a freaking resume. I don't even remember where I worked. <laughs> I could say I had amnesia. And I just started a YouTube channel, but I'm not sure my real identity. So I don't have a resume. <laughs> I hate making a resume. I hate it. What do you guys want to do? I want to make this about you. I hate making a resume. I hate it. When's the last time you made one, liar? Legitimate question. What? Seven years ago? Six years ago? I hate making them as if I've made one recently. Girl. Girl. You're intimidated to make a resume because you know not only probably everything on here is this bullshit fabrication. Whatever is a legitimate job on there, there's massive gaps on your resume. People don't like that. How are you going to explain the last six years of your life? I would genuinely like to know. That's why you don't want to make a resume. You guys, so give me ideas and we'll go. Give me ideas and I'll come up with stuff. So Christmas drive throughs yes or no? <laughs> Crop dusting at stores? Workout videos? I'm not going to shart. It's full October all over again. Stacy, you were going to date me. Think about it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Donate some food to a food. They're absolutely right. It's vlogged over all over again when she has nothing to do. Or she gets like, I don't know, a little gust of uh, motivation. Oh, guys, let's make another list. We're making another list. This is what we're going to do. Now she's talking about drive through fucking Christmas shit and stuff. It's the 22nd of a month. So she's now starting to plan her vlog, uh, vlogmas on the 22nd of the month. <laughs> For real. And the people in her chat are like playing with this. They're, they're giving their ideas and stuff. Like, what's the matter with you people? Why do you even entertain this shit anymore? I don't understand them. Some people, I guess, just like to be lied to. I don't know. Oh, is that it? She's hoping for it. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. One of the things on the list, crop dusting in stores. What? 37 years old, y'all. Oh, yeah. We have to make care packages for people and give them to people. How about that? Should I get a farter, a sharter machine and go in public? I could do a second channel called Sharks Are Us. What do you think? Sharks Are Us. No, wait. Thanks for the update, girl. I'm going to call it. Tootie Beauty. Yeah. Oh, a snowman. No, I didn't clean my bed yet. I put cleaning. More crying on the long road? I'm sure I could think of something. If you must see me miserable and in pain. Clean the house. Yes, Bay. Bay Nation. Clean the fucking house. Ouija. All right, I'll write it down, but we have to go somewhere haunted. I'm not Ouija-ing at the villa. There's no spirits here that are interesting. Reaction videos? Somebody put it out in the comments and they're like, isn't it funny? Now she's calling it the villa, just like if FG. <laughs> I love that she's embraced it though, called it the villa. So no, there's a haunting going on at the villa. She wants to go and we just somewhere else. If you do it this time, girl, do it. Don't fucking do it like last time. We want to see you get haunted or scared the shit, literally shit coming out of you, scared so hard. You built it up last time and we were all disappointed. Do it. That Christmas Ouija board. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the traditional Christmas week board. What the fuck? Well, Jean said I do look like that guy, Michael Caine. Panel with Natter, FFG, and Chilean. Oh, God. Could you imagine? I wouldn't even be talking, I'm sure. There'd be too much yelling. What the actual fuck? What the I don't understand where I come in that mix, but yeah, do a panel with FFG, Koki, and Chilean Gypsy? 
Like, where do I even come in that mix? I don't get it. Girl, we're still waiting for the panel that was promised. We want you, me, Shannon, and Koki. That's the heavyweight title, okay? That's the fucking uh, panel that everyone said. Listen, I'm not trying to be rude here, but um, fuck Chilean Gypsy, okay? I'm sorry if that comes off as rude. I have big theories about Chilean Gypsy, the sister, the whole fucking thing is a troll, in my opinion. This thing is stupid. They want attention. I, I don't I don't get it. It's weird. I don't even want to get it. I'm not interested in it. Um, she pisses off Chantal. Fine. It's trolling. It's trolling. I, I genuinely don't think it's something more than that. I don't find it that interesting. I don't find it that funny. Like, she's not pissing Chantal off the way that she was, right? Uh, I'm not fucking entertaining this shit. But, but, oh shit, Shannon, you're here. <laughs> Anytime, girl. You want to have that panel? Koki, you, me, and Shannon? Anytime, any place, any channel, at whatever, girl. Just let's do it. Anytime. <laughs> Listen, we'll be nice. We'll give you guys the handicap since you probably need it. We're two Scorpios. We won't even attack together. We'll go one by one. We will tag team you guys. And you can do your worst. And good luck to you both. <laughs> I'll just fart. Get your nails done. Ooh, nails. We need to go to where? Sephora? And I know, I know, I feel like a cheap ass. Like, I hate whenever, like, but, like, even YouTubers who have way more views than me have Patreons and stuff. I know I don't do really do much content, but, well, I don't know. I mean, that's what it's there for. Or, like, I think there's, like, something called, like, buy me a coffee. Some people want to. Some people want to, like, here for your coffee or whatever, you know? So that's what it's there for. Yeah, Chantal. Oh, so there's the thing there. Buy me a coffee. Some people want to buy me a coffee. Yeah, you have the same fucking thing. It's called a super chat. What's the matter with you? You're, you're, you're trying to pretend like you don't have your hand in that little cookie jar? Girl, you do the absolute most to get those fucking super chats. You're, you're pandering to the fucking super chats. Now she needs a, a thing for a coffee too, because one, like, I don't want to say an e-bag. A super chat isn't an e-bag, but like, if people want to give you a tip, if people want to give you a coffee, if people, uh, the option already exists in your life, girl. You don't need a second outlet. It's pathetic. And you already did because you put up that fucking PayPal. You certainly don't need a third handout. Amberlynn! Hi, Amberlynn! You subscribe to my, my, my Patreon? Oh, I don't know what I would do. I'd have to actually do stuff. Once I get my shit together and not be and not be lazy, maybe. Of course I would. <laughs> well, ditto, Amberlynn. How are you today? <laughs> Dress up as the Grinch and slide down. It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without parcels, packages, or pets. Chi Chi, change your friggin' picture of me. Speaking of guns, look at mine in this picture. Holy shit. <sighs> I look hot. There we go. Wait, wait, I look like Humpty Dumpty. Why are my legs all small? <laughs> I'm a fly cap. See? We could. I'm just making a little note of uh, the timestamp of that so it can be in tomorrow's intro. Don't mind me. <laughs> Emily the Stranger, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Thanks for joining the girl gang, watching with the girl gang, and being here with us today. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Why? <laughs> Why? Are my legs looking like this? What is wrong? <laughs> oh. oh, the man downstairs. Skinny ankle. They are skinny today, EG. Oh, no, they're not, actually. We'll call it the Fupa Shuffle. The Fupa Fandango. <laughs> <clears throat> Why will I be like Kathy Bates? Kathy Bates. Sledding. Oh, my God. Should we get a magic carpet ride? Where do you get those magic rock carpets? Do you get them at Walmart? 
Girl, you go to Canadian Tire. Oh, I love this idea. Girl, do it. 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 Go to Canadian Tire. Okay. Get yourself one of those fucking carpety things. Get yourself to a hill. Slide down with your camera. We want to see. We want to hear you screaming. I want to see you fly off that thing. You know how fast those things go? And can you imagine? Okay. Everybody understands physics, right? Velocity. Picture it all on that motherfucker when it starts picking up speed. Y'all. I need this in my life, okay? We are back in lockdown. I need something to cheer me up. I want to see her fly on her ass on a fucking hill. Oh, my God. That thing is like, there's like flames coming off the back of it. She's going so fast, you know? Oh, my God. Y'all, y'all, somebody, somebody, these are beauty. Do your thing, girl. Get her. Get, her. Get one of those. Speaking of Beezer Beauty, can I just say, I got an email late last night. You know how I am like anti uh, getting, uh, what do you call, premium YouTube. I will not get YouTube premium and it's out of spite and like out of principle. I get an email last night that little Miss Beezer Beauty has invited me to join her family premium. <laughs> Girl, thank you, but I'll never do it out of spite. It's like a principal thing now. I won't fucking do it, but that was really funny and sweet of you. I appreciate that. I seriously will do it. React to reaction channels. Uh, maybe I could do like, maybe I'll organize doing one reacting to like every single reaction channel. And then that'll be it. Fuck. And I won't even be mean. I'll try to be funny. But I'm not gonna. Uh, that'll be it. Like I'm not gonna do like an ongoing series of that. Maybe once in a blue moon, reacting to this. I don't know. I just don't care. Do it. Don't tease us. Stop. See, she's teasing us. She'll never do it. She doesn't pulls. I don't even know if she did a reaction channel. She would pick a nice one that she knows wouldn't come back hard at her. You know. I don't think she would ever react to me. I wish she would. Chantal, I promise you, and I'm not saying this to like bait you to do it. I won't be cruel. I never am cruel. <laughs> I just point out the lies and the hypocrisy. And shit. I'm not cruel. I would not be cruel to reacting to your reaction to me. I just want to see it, girl. We want to see what you got. Do your worst. You can do what you go in however you want to on me. Okay, do your worst. I'm not going to call you a bully. <laughs> I swear to God. Funny, mean, whatever you got, girl, give it to me. I will take it. I can't wait to see it. I want to see. What are you, come on, come on. You're given the stage. There's nobody firing back. You feel no threat. Do your worst. Let's see what she could do. I can't wait. <laughs> I mean, I just, I'm not good at reactions, I don't think. It's not my thing, you know? Like some people are just naturally good at it. You and Matt, I could do some ski slopes. Ski. No, I don't ski. Oh my God, do you guys want to do Christmas caroling? I will do it. I will do it. Pete has to come with me, but I will do it. No, no, no. Because can't put the people on camera. So what fun would that be? I guess I could show their legs. Dumpster I'm not dumpster diving ever again. Nope. I don't need any more shit. I'm going to be a minimalist. Just weed and... Oh my God, Bunny, uh, you are uh, totally right. She would do Kiki and Boo Boo's. And they can all just sit there going, sorry. We want to do shopping. Christmas shopping. I'll show you. We'll go to the mall. We're going to go to the Rito. Rito Center. Or the Bayshore Mall. I don't know, FFGDC, me and Charlie, which are the three best reactions for you? I don't know. Really... I honestly, like, haven't sat through, like, a whole video. I've never seen DC Media's videos, honest to God. FFG, I haven't watched the whole one. Charlie, I've seen, like, parts of it. So I don't really know. Ugh, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> Shut up, Meg. Meg sitting there lying. Girl, shut up. You never seen one of our videos. I'm not going to say you watch all of the videos, but I'm going to say there was a period of time. Everybody gets their period of time where you're like obsessed, right? Or like, you know, that whole, we lived rent free in your mind or whatever. Charlie lived rent free in your mind for the better part of last year. I've been living rent free in your mind since the summer and this whole Koki thing. Girl, you've seen our videos. Shut the fuck. Come on, Meg. This is bullshit, Meg. You lie to yourself now. Nobody believes it. You're a bad liar with a bad poker face. You've started saying it is what it is. You said that Koki's saying it because he watches FFG, but you don't notice that you've been saying it too. <laughs> Girl, you're picking up on my shit. <laughs> we see you. We see things that we girl gang about one evening being brought up by you the next day in your live streams. Girl, you watch me. 
You watch Kiwi Farms like a hawk. There are certain things that you keep your fucking eye on. I know I'm one of them. And I would assume that your loser boyfriend does the same because he's afraid of what I might say about him. <laughs> Interesting. Pew, pew. Laura's Grotto, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. <laughs> I don't know. Alex is shook. I think he at least, like, I don't know. I don't think I've ever watched. I've watched a bit of him, too. Yes, I've seen more translate. Honestly, I don't really find anything that Natter said in his other language to be really that offensive. Or I at least understand certain things, he, why he said certain things. Like, I thought he would be like, what? She's like a dirty bitch, a hater kind of thing. And he doesn't say that. <clears throat> I don't know, unless I'm just not. Wait, 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 wait. You're trying to consistently convince everyone what a great guy he is and how he treats you like a queen when the camera's not rolling. Man, 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 he's such a great guy. You were expecting him to call you a dirty bitch. <laughs> That's not funny. I don't know why that made me laugh so hard, but that is fucking hilarious. I'm so in love. I expected him. I'm I'm pleasantly surprised to find out he did not call me a dirty bitch. <laughs> oh my God. Watching them all, I didn't see them all. I don't know. Titans out. No, I'm not. It's uh, Abra. It's just uh. I don't know. I was expecting like just the way like people were reacting. I don't know. Maybe it's just because like. I talk about him that way, too. I talk about him like he's trash, right? I talk about a lot of shit about him, too. <clears throat> Next therapy is the 30th. I haven't had a hot dog in a while, Capu. Oh, my God, I need a hot dog. Oh, big juicy. You know what, like, those carts in New York City? Is anyone from New York City here? And have you had a cart wiener? Ew, walla. Walla, yalla. No, yalla. Yalla. Like, Arabic for, like, let's go. <laughs> yalla. And salam alaikum is like a greeting. Like instead of saying hi to somebody, you say salam alaikum, like kind of like a hello, bless you kind of thing. That's the only thing I know. I'm not going to talk about it right now, Esther. <laughs> you know the whole argument all summer that uh, a lot of people saying she fetishizes the guy and her actually trying to argue back that, no, I like the culture and I like it and blah, 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 blah. Can you imagine being with somebody? for the past eight plus months now, who doesn't speak English all that well, certainly doesn't speak French all that well, and you've picked up two, two words, two words. One is kind of not even, I mean, it's a saying, yell is a saying, it's not even like, you know what I mean? I, I'm counting one word there. In eight plus months, that's how much interest that you've shown in the culture that you try to convince us that that's what you were interested in, girl. You fetishize him. I think that proves it. You, She tried to say that, it, oh, it's the culture and it's so interesting. I just love the culture. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. What have you learned about the culture besides Baba Ganoush and Yalla? Nothing. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Sphinx Rain, thank you again for the super chat. I'm not thinking about that. I'm not thinking about the future. Guys, I might have a job. We need to go to Adonis. They have halal juicy beef wieners. And we can make a beef friggin' chili? No. Chicken wieners with chicken chili. I'm not halal. I try not to eat pork. I don't like it. I mean, I did on my pizza. I like it on my pizza. I love bacon. I put bacon on burgers. I Since when does she not like a pork? I've never seen her avoid pork, except for now with Koki. I don't like pork. I'm not, well, I just don't like pork. Why do you have to change your personality for Koki? What does it change for him? Honestly, whether or not you eat fucking pork, what does that change in Koki's life? Do you think this is going to make him fall in love with you? Oh my God. Koki, Koki's sitting at home watching this live stream, okay? And he goes, she doesn't like pork? Oh my God. Well, now I need to marry her. That just changed everything. This is going to move my wife. <laughs> Chaco, shut up. Yeah, I like pepperoni and stuff, but I do like like the turkey or chicken versions. I already ate the candy. Yes, Macbeth, we're writing stuff down I'm never going to do. No, we're going to do it. Get a new scale. I don't need a new scale. It is a new scale. 
It's like not old. I just got one. How many times have you guys even told me to get a scale? Every time you're not happy that I'm losing weight. Or not gaining. This isn't working. Let's get totally baked. I just have a sweet tooth, that's all. Mm. Yeah, but Fanny, for real, breaking your ass on a crazy carpet is a rite of passage, no? Good. Yes. Mm. It's actually good. Do my cats know I'm an animal killer? No, because that would mean that they have some kind of awareness of their surroundings beyond their own instinctive needs. I'm slurring. I'm very tired. And hamburger ride. I love pixie sticks. I like eating them. So I'm going to put my pap on. She's not hamburger eyed or like, like she ate the edible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can see it in the eyes. That's not what's going on. We know your hamburger eyes. People haven't really seen it in all that long. So maybe people forget. But for anybody who forgets what hamburger eyes look like, you have to go back to her streams at the beginning of April or before that, before she met Koki. Hamburger eyes is very obvious to see. And this ain't it. Mm -mm. Uh... Wow. Natasha, you know, I hadn't thought about it. I... I don't know. I, I always think I'm the one with nothing to do because everyone else is open and we're now on lockdown and blah, blah, blah. But everything's closed here. We, we, we're on lockdown. There's going to be no, literally no, nowhere you can be and nothing to do on New Year's Eve here. So, I mean, I'm down if anyone wants, uh, if anyone's into it and is home and bored and I will be on. Why the hell not? <laughs> Raven Lunatic, thank you so much for Super Chat, girl. Come on. The red path sugar and go to have a nice sleep. Oh, fuck. In a little bit, I'll be for a bit longer. I'll sleep well. Give me a minute. I want to fix my hair. Chilean gypsy, listen, listen. If is that even you? I don't know. The picture has changed unless you're just changing pictures now. I'm not I'm not gonna have a fight with the lunatic, okay? Jelaine Gypsy, we get it. You're a troll. Have fun. Knock yourself out. I don't know what to tell you, but like, just piss off. <laughs> Is that fair enough, girl? Keep trolling them, but piss off. It was fun while it was fun. You're not fun anymore. That's the problem. If you really want to be real about it, we like a fun troll. You're tedious. Ugh. Two seconds. Is this a nice eye color? Eyeshadow color? Orange? No. You guys are going to laugh. Watch this. I look like I have jaundice. Oh my god. Oh, fuck this shit. Let's see if I can make something work just by being stupid. This is like Vogue walkway makeup. And then, like, there's no reason why one nipple's out. Hey! Move it. You just stop beating. Please. I'm very busy today. I'm um, not, I don't really think it was either, but uh, to be honest, what I just said stands for the real one too. It's fucking TD. I don't, I don't like high maintenance. Eh? I'm a low maintenance girl. I like a funny troll and I like low maintenance. Once I find you tedious, I don't find it funny anymore. So yeah, she's, she's done for me. Maybe. How does that look? Oh, kind of work. I can't get rid of the widow's peak. Oh shit! Stop bullying Emberlyn and I. You guys are mean, right, Emberlyn? Truth is, we don't care what you say, right, Emberlyn? Too far wedding makeup. Thank you. Hi. You got designer shades just to hide your face and wear them around like the cool with Amy. To pluck the hairs of my widow's peak? That thought has never occurred to me, no. Oh my god. Dude! Thank you. Why don't you build me up? But a cup can just me down. Push me around. I need you. Okay, okay, hold on. Now this night has gone on. Gone on and on and on. Okay. Do you notice how we're revving up here? Okay, we know. 
edibles kick in over time. Fine, fine, fine. There's definitely edibles at play here. I'm not saying there isn't. She had that gigantic gummy. And in the thumbnail, you can see kind of like a bite taken out of it. There's something else at play here. I don't know what this is, but my heart is racing. I feel the anxiety. My palms are sweating. And I know that to me, that's an upper. Something is making me feel unsettled, uneasy. And it's not THC that never does that. I go with my instinct on this because I'm always right. And I was right about her once or for months. <laughs> I know I'm right again. This isn't just THC. And she can keep on saying it until she's blue in the face. Okay. Maybe you're convincing your VIB idiots. I stand by it. I know an upper when I feel it in my anxiety, okay? Girl, calm down. Calm down. And I'm, it's like in hindsight, telling her to calm down while she's high off her ass. As the night goes on, she gets more wrecked. And she's going upstairs and going downstairs and going to the bathroom and coming back. Fucking weird behavior. Erratic. There's no poop bed. I'm sure there's poop particles on everything. There's the bed. <laughs> oh, I need a wig. Like, look, see? See how it's like balding? Like, it's like thinning on the tops. Really bad. I just want to be healthy. You don't need makeup if you're healthy. Do you ever just feel like sometimes you're like really feeling your hair and skin? Like, damn, I just want to be natural. Like, that's how I want to be. Isn't it ironic that now sitting there going, damn, I don't want to wear makeup. I just want to be natural. That's how I want to be. But she came for me a couple of months ago and called me, you sit in there with your plain face as in no makeup. So on the one hand, you use that as an insult to other women. And when it suits you, you just want to be clean face, clear face, no makeup. It's whatever mood you're in on that day. Yeah, she had the audacity. She said that I have a plain face. I'm sitting there talking shit with my plain face. Girl, I wear the plain face as a badge of honor. Do you know what kind of like confidence it takes as a woman to come online every day with your plain fucking face this close to a camera? I don't give a fuck. You can look at any inch of this plain face. I got nothing to hide. I wash my face twice a day. <laughs> I don't have breakouts because of mathematics or filthy pillowcases or whatever the fuck else is causing this shit to you? I don't know. At 37 years old, I wear the plain face as a fucking badge of honor, girl. I would say to you, do the same. I'm not using this as an insult against her. I'm not telling her, get on your makeup, you fucking ugly. Not at all. Keep the makeup off. It's freeing. It feels great. But don't ever turn around and try and insult somebody doing something that you wouldn't have the balls to do yourself. Oh my god, I have hair fibers here. Holy shit. All right, fuck the healthy hair. More than anyone know that. Know that. Right from the floor. Matter was so mortified when he thought people were saying he used the hair fibers. Isn't that funny? Koki couldn't handle it when people thought he was needing the fibers. Koki had a mental breakdown because people thought he needed fibers. Maybe he does. Let's poke this bear if we know it bothers him. Koki needs the fibers. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Let's just pick him off. Now we know another button. So Koki, is that it? Do you use the fibers too? Maybe that's why you let your hair get all greasy like that because you're not washing it with Chantal because you don't want to wash out your fibers. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Uh, DG, I completely agree with you. Code for Nader doesn't like makeup. She asked him once on a live stream, and uh, you like the natural, right? And he's like, yep. <laughs> it's all about him. I can't believe someone. Has it not occurred to you that you can pluck your widow's peak? Oh, actually, no, it hasn't. You don't want to see my micro pony again? <laughs> it's even more micro. Like a big, beautiful, balding butterfly. Thank you, Sandra. I guess, is that, is that a compliment or? I'll take it as one. Shave your head, buy a wig. Or shave my head, get a cute scarf. Like wear cute scarves. Gabriella, no head at all. It's like live and let live, right? You know what I mean? I, I, I say it specifically, specifically with Chantal because about two months ago, she tried to use it as an insult to me 
about sitting here with my plain face, but now wishes she could be natural. And oh, and I love natural and stuff. That's all I'm bringing it up. I consider makeup like an art. I am no artiste. I wish I could, you know, but I, I consider people who are good at it. It's like a type of art and I'm in awe of it. Well, I think I will. I think I'm going to like shave my head, honestly. I'm not kidding. I'm going to get a wig, I think. You know what? Do you think the estrogen is making me break out? Every time I start back on the estrogen, I get breakouts. And I'm sick of the fucking hair fibers, man. Definitely estrogen. Uh so I shouldn't take it then or what? Look at me, I'm breaking out. I have hair fibers in my nose. Ugh, why bother? I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I keep forgetting I'm going to bed. His house is cleaner than mine. My house is Yeah, why would she get all made up and sooted up to go to bed? I keep forgetting I'm going to bed because I keep forgetting that I lied <laughs> and said that I was staying here tonight. She's not going to bed. Bed at Cokie's, exactly. I'm sleeping on that mattress on the floor. Girl, please. That is just, just, no, 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 no. I need to clean my house, actually. Aw, thank you, Banana Hammock. I'm so glad that I made you laugh, honestly. You guys have gotten me through a lot, too. Honestly, for real. Plain cheeseburgers, we are going to bees in the morning. I actually want to go to bed just so I can get up and bees. And I do want to, I want to fix my room with you guys. We will do it. I'm just not sure exactly when. And I will be taking the cast of the bed. And I want it to be like sanctuary. Can you take me to Farm Boy? Nope, Adonis. I can't stand that. <clears throat> she used that all summer too, eh? You remember when she was on the, and she kept referring to her room as the sanctuary. We haven't heard her call her room that in months. Here we are with all those signs again. And she's calling the room the sanctuary again. And by sanctuary, uh, remember I used to call it where it's like a hostage situation was taking place? Where she was holed up all day, all night in her bedroom with that baggie in the drawer next to her? Her sanctuary. <laughs> Chantal Pio Klepja, the queef of denial. Thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Yes, my new thing. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Loving <laughs> like squatter. Fast food funeral. Can't believe I used to feel bad about eating junk food. I feel like going to Arby's and eating 20 mozzarella sticks just to spite <laughs> whoever's mad about it. Just to spite who? Finish that sentence. Koki? Koki, Koki, Koki. Koki pissed you off and you want to go and eat Arby's out of spite? <laughs> Weird flex, but I mean, like, do you, girl? I do it. I would just gotta go and eat cheese sticks to spite. <laughs> You're only hurting yourself. No, I'll feel pretty good eating those cheese sticks. Oh. No, I actually don't eat as much junk, which is good. Your palate does change. Like my palate has changed a lot. I I actually crave like fresh food and eating very very good. And that's why, like honestly, I don't mind shooting the videos. This live was like old times. Whenever I take the estrogen, I break out on the chin again. <laughs> Stop! Stop! You can't strangle me! Nee, 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 nee. You can't strangle me! <laughs> I look like a weird frog creature from a fairy tale. My legs? Oh my god. I need to do things. You know what vibe? I'm having the exact same vibes. Anybody else remind the feeling of this live stream is exactly like the intruder stream? Remember when the cat went in the closet and she went running for Pete's intruder? It's the same cricked out vibe. Whatever she was on then, she's on, on this day too. I think so. I'm going places in life. I would pay to see someone try to kidnap her on ice. <laughs> I would fucking pay that too. Can you do it? Oh, she's fucking hungry. Why do I have to wait hours? Oh my God, I want to go to bed. When I wash my face with wash, I use one called aloe, A L O. It's like an enzyme cleanser. It's really, I love it. It's my favorite. When I wash my face. My face. <laughs> so gross. What kind of woman at 40 admits to not brushing her teeth? I don't know. I guess I'm just pathetic. Yeah, I don't have delusions of grandeur. When? I think I'm pretty self deprecating. No? Sisu! Oh no, Sisu! I miss Sisu. And I had to see her in such a horrible way. I hate it. It just depresses me. 
I'll be happy to start therapy again. I was feeling good talking to her. And I think I'm going to do it more often. Yes, Lambo, will you be at my coffee bees? Let's have Starbucks breakfast. Let's make sugar cookies with colored sprinkles, <gasps> shortbread. No, let's ask Natter to make shortbread cookies. <laughs> I don't want to cook anything. I'm fucking lazy. No, we will do it. Yeah, we will do it. No, we will do it. No, you won't, liar. Let's get natter to cook. <laughs> Shortbread cookies. Like, like, like basic sugar cookies. There is nothing easier. She needs to ask natter to make her the cookie. Everything doesn't involve him. Nobody would have suggested it in your chat if you had tried to pawn it off on him. No one wants to see cookie. God damn it, Chantal. They're trying to give you an idea. Let's make shortbread cookies bees one night. What's the worst fart you've ever smelled? And who I can get a croissant with it. Who, the worst fart was my own after I ate a whole jar of French onion dip. They smelled like sweet bologna and it was disgusting. <laughs> one time I, just, I farted and went, how come it smells like bastorma? Oh yeah. Oh, here's Curly. Oh, see, you weren't blocked. <laughs> Welcome to Very Important Bees. Everybody said bees. Yeah, that's part of why I'm convinced this whole thing with the, what's her name, is a troll and everything. What's her damn name? I already forgot. Chilean Gypsy. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. Um, Eerie T, thank you so much for Super Chat, girl. What's her name? Curly Juarez is supposedly the sister of Chilean Gypsy. Now, there has been beef in her chat with the Curly Juarez one before. And we know there's beef with the Chile and Gypsy one, right? For some reason, Curly Juarez now, for a few days, has been in her chat consistently. And Chantal has been not only kind, but like playful at certain moments like this, which is weird because we know how much Chantal hates women and hates Chile and Gypsy. If this were all real, first of all, I'm sure uh, Curly Juarez would already be blocked, you know? There's something very weird with this. <laughs> First of all, they might be the same person. Who the fuck knows, right? I don't care enough to dig anymore. I don't like the troll. It's not funny anymore. And they need to make it funny again or just fuck off with it. Is that fair? Hmm? The Super Shot Queen, thank you again for the Super Chat. Kaylee, not our special friend, just posted a pic with him. Special friend? I don't know who a special friend is. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Look, if I have to coffee bees, I have to get off soon. Hello? 48 hour stream. I will do a 48 hour stream when I get to 100,000 subscribers. I'll be so happy. My mouth is getting dry. I hate the pasties. I can't, I can't think of like, um, okay. Can you change your name to Chicken... No, not Chicken Patties. <laughs> chicken Linda. What the fuck is Chicken Linda? Is that a name of a chicken dish? Because if it is, I'm going to lose it. I fucking hate Chicken Linda. Who's Chicken Linda? Somebody change their name to Chicken Linda, please. <laughs> and have a picture of a woman with a chicken. Oh my god, who's the guy from Kids in the Hall that looks like a chicken? The Chicken Lady from Kids in the Hall! Chicken Lady loves life! Gee, I never took that literally. I never... No? <laughs> You're not too bright. No. <laughs> Just the way I like them. Fuck Chicken Linda. <laughs> <laughs> I clipped in the Chicken Lady because, first of all, I didn't know if they played the Kids in the Hall outside of Canada. That was a Canadian show. And you guys are probably all too young to even know what the hell the Kids in the Hall are. So that was the Chicken Lady. That was her. Oh, my God. That was my favorite, the Chicken Lady. So she has, like, a blind date. Or not a blind date. She like a, an ad. She she gets a date on an ad, and this guy shows up to her place. Right? She closes the door, and there's all these posters of like nude <laughs> all over the wall. And then he goes like, "Look, it's a picture of my mom, and that's my dad, and the the mother is a chicken, and the father's a guy." <laughs> oh, that's a chicken lady, yeah. <laughs> so I had to put it in because I knew it was a be a reference that like maybe one percent caught. Brittany, thank you so much for the super chat. I don't smoke. How is sativa supposed to make you act? I know different strands of weed, but sativa is more up all up in your head. It's like a head high. It gets you thinking and like, woo, in your head. Uh, the indica is more like the whole body relax and high. 
I look like Momo. I look like a beaver. Say, that works well. Remember the fucking beaver from Lady and the Tramp? They're my impressions are so terrible. That's why I do them. I want to go to Mandarin Buffet. Chicken window! <laughs> Absolute rubbish. I never saw anything. Never heard anything. We went down to Lowe's Cottage. <laughs> oh my god. I got in the, in the pub. How boring. I have to talk to that guy. There's no cats in here. Should we blaze one up and open the window? Should we have smoke one more? No, I'll just get hungry and waste it. Let's roll. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, I'm gonna see you. My fan used to all do that to each other. All of us. That was an ongoing gag. Me and my brother and my mom. And I, ah, we would do that to each other. Nobody's home. <laughs> I'm crushing you. <laughs> my youth in a sentence. Oh, a big fatty like this big. I'm fucking I crush your head. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun on this stream, yeah. I like doing these streams, my favorite too, actually. Knock on wood. Whoa! Whoa, did you hear my voice? I think I was just possessed. What the hell was that? Oh, the crochet, no, it's macrame. Oh, she left me a message? What did she say? I'm so sorry. I feel mellow. It's yeah, you know intense. what, Kat, you're right, isn't it? I squish your head. I was just analyzing. I'm like, is it I crush your head? I squish your, I squish your head. I squish your head. It was squish. You're right. <laughs> or crush. I'm all fucked up now. I got to check. But squ squish. Squish sounds right. It's been too many years. I'm fucking old now. I don't know. It was crush. I see you guys all up in the chat. Crush, crush, crush. Okay, crush. <laughs> I'm crushing your head. Do, do. <laughs> Perfectly rolled spliff every time. Blaze and Susan. I left that sentence in there for a very specific reason. She called that a perfectly rolled spliff every time. I'm a weed snob. And I happen to be one of the best rollers that I've ever seen in my life. It's, it is one of my talents. It should be on my fucking CV, okay? I roll nicer than anyone I know. I don't like pre-rolls. I don't consider them at all the nicest, the perfect spliff by any means. It's the filter's too small. It is what it is. I like a cannon, and I like a cannon that's rolled right on a king size slim paper. Okay, I'm very specific about it. That is not a perfect one. I like cones when I'm in a pinch. If I'm in a rush, you want to like and you get your cone filled. Um, that is the most amateur thing ever to call a pre-made cone the. Most perfectly rolled spliff. Girl, please. I like designer papers. Designer weed, designer papers. <laughs> I'm such a loser. Where's my lighter? My fat ass forgot a lighter. I'm smug. Now I gotta go downstairs. And I don't want to. Oh, please let there be a lighter around here somewhere. So I was asking Pete about this Jessica Yaniv person. And he, and he said he researched her and they were mad because like, the, or they sued somebody, like they sued us a lot for not wanting to wax their balls. <laughs> Why men, is there a place, is there such thing as ball barbers? Can men wax, get their balls waxed if they so choose? I need to see the doctor. I need to eat nothing but fruits. <laughs> Here we go. She's insane. <laughs> Canada's going into full lockdown. Oh God, what if it's what it was before? No, it can't be. I paused this. She didn't know that Canada's going into full lockdown. Her, her news is delivered to her by her audience. And she goes, can it be the same rules as before? No, it can't be. Genuine question here, Chantal. What difference did it make for you? What rules changed that changed your life? You had just met a crackhead and your province went into full lockdown. And our province was also in full lockdown. And y'all y'all live in different provinces. And you both broke protocol to sleep with a stranger crackhead. 
and hit the, the glass pipe that you found on the floor at his house. Genuine question. What difference does it make for you if the country's on lockdown and there's the restrictions? And shit? You do what you want. You've always done what you want. You didn't know him then and you did it now. It's like fucking you're, in your mind, you're a well-established couple. You're engaged. You have a ring, you know? The fuck? Shut up, Meg. Okay? That's what part or part of what made me think, though, that her whole plan for New Year's was a hotel in Montreal and all about the casino for Koki because the casino's closed. And she would know that if we're in full lockdowns and there's restrictions, blah, blah, the casino will close again. So that's where my thing came from. My throat's kind of sore. Here we go again. Oh, chubby moose, don't rub it in. You think I like going through this stuff? I really don't. Bean and bees, we are going to attempt tomorrow only because. I'm sorry. I just went over that a little too quickly. Everybody, let's let's listen to what she says right now about needing a doctor again. Here we go again. Oh, chubby moose, don't rub it in. You think I like going through this stuff? I really... No, it can't be. Because my throat's kind of sore. Here we go again. Oh, chubby moose, don't rub it in. You think I like going through this stuff? I need to go to a doctor. Because my throat is sore. Again. Oh, Chubby Moose, stop rubbing it in. You think I like going through this stuff? Obviously you do. You're a fucking masochist because you just went through this stuff. Did you learn a lesson? No. You went through this like months ago. Yeah, exactly, Indy. <laughs> this is how it all started last time, right? But you remember she ignored that sore throat. For months. I hope at least you've learned the lesson from that last time and you won't neglect this for months and you go and get the fucking medication. Clap, 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 I think those things will make wonderful gifts for like my aunt and stuff, people who love weed. I think weed is just really cool gifts. I'm going to get a little something for everyone in my family. Oh, chubby moo. What do you want, chubby moo? She's you getting all weed. They're, she, they're all getting weed for Christmas. Tomorrow's video is going to have to be uh, clap miss. Clap miss. I like it. Clap miss. Clap <laughs> Round of applause for the irresponsible crackheads. <laughs> <laughs> God, no maintenance. Oh my God. I, uh, Merry Christmas. It is the season of green. At least the color of the green drip finally is in season. Cat's honor, he will take to his grave. He likes grilled cheese. Do you guys want to hang out on the llama right now? Um, leave it burning for now. I won't forget it. I hope I won't. Do you hear me saying, oh, do they want to and fro? Do you do you do you do you do you Sorry. <laughs> Annoying. <sighs> yes, you can see my messy room. No, I don't care right now. Well, I care, but there's not much I can do about it. Sisu is in this. She's having her dirt nap. Rest in peace, Sisu. I call it a dirt nap when people pass away, Julia what it is i'm getting a job am i crazy okay regarding her own grandmother she just said she's taking her dirt nap isn't that what like mafiosos say after they order a hit <laughs> yeah that's so disrespectful and she's talking about her grandmother job in the weed business and i'm gonna have less time for you guys no i'm gonna take you to work I'll have to just work. I don't know if I want to work. Shoot the doop, shoot the doop, 
You better thank your mother for a butt like that. <laughs> to be a YouTuber for real. How many of you in the comments right now want to be YouTubers? Like, you would like this as a career. Like, for real. Like, you, like, watch me and you're like, oh, I would I would want her life. I would want her job. Like, for real, is there anybody? Yo, she just said life. She just said life. Oh, is that what Sisu is? I'm sorry, Shannon. Okay. Sisu is the cat. I saw, I thought Sisu was the grandmother. My bad. Either way, uh, yeah, even for a cat. <laughs> I thought she was talking about the grandmother. Sisu is the cat. Okay. Shannon, thanks as usual for being here and clearing that up for me. Um, I still don't like it. Cat, grandmother, whoever, dirt nap is what like Tony Soprano would say before he like somebody, you know? Just saying. Just saying. A little weird. A little fucking weird. Somebody who would want that? Who would take it as a backup? Definitely if I could make 6,000 or 12,000. I am very thankful that I have like an audience or like people listening to me or just like hanging out. That's what it feels I like. I thought Sisu was the grandmother. That's fucking yes. hilarious. That would, that would be, be really fun. That would be really fun because like literally like I that's why like the user budget and stuff I want to like pay for be able to afford my life but I want to like put money I make from my channel back into the channel and like invest in the channel reinvest in the channel and make it more entertaining for you guys and like I, I have, haven't been doing that like what I've been hoping is just like, like I said, like I, I could barely, I feel like at times I can barely function, like I'm going to drown. And when I feel like that, I just can only come on here and use this as like, what do you call it? Like a, a journal, like a diary kind of. This is not, this is not your diary. Ma'am, go and get your throat checked. Number one, girl, shut up. Everything's so fucking overwhelming. Everything's only overwhelming when somebody needs something from you or there's a tiny little bit of pressure put on you. What's overwhelming to reinvest in your own channel? Get a fucking computer. What's overwhelming? Invest that in your channel. You sit there on live streams anyway. Up the production value to the people. Nothing's overwhelming about it. Just put out the money. Sierra, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a high five with our feet. Oh, chubby bitch legs, use. Your two legs like this. You go like this. Like that. I swear. See? But you can also keep it bent. But I like to. <laughs> That's why my legs are skinny, but my belly's round and I look like Humpty. Because of that. Am I a hater ass bitch if I make this comment? Maybe. I don't mean to be. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Chantal, you don't have skinny legs. In what world does Chantal have skinny legs? Skinny compared to your own stomach, uh, fine. But that's why I have skinny legs. Because you lift one leg at a time on your bed. Girl, you don't walk around. You get out of breath walking around your own one floor in your own house. What are you talking about? Yeah, Jarella, skinny legs. What the shit? Okay. It's the filter. And if that's the best filter could do, I mean, it's still not a skinny leg. Come on. She had the nerve to say she has a thigh gap. <laughs> Let's just move on. Starfishing. Starfishing's like... <laughs> <laughs> But no, you lay on your back and just go like that. Take me, Romeo. <laughs> Do I smell sea bass? <laughs> yeah, waft away. Dandy, sometimes I want to put your head right. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. <laughs> right in here. And go. <laughs> Did you see that fucking cat looking at her and judging her? Sam is like, this bitch, when are you going back to the trap house? I want the bed alone without you on it. He was just staring at her like, mm, the way the cats look at people. Mm. Oh my God. Pigs, thank you for the super chat, girl. <laughs> look at my llama. <laughs> so gross. I did wash it. It's stained from the 
ear cheese and hair fibers. Oh, it's so comfortable though. Oh, ear cheese is comfortable. Do you wipe front to back or back to front? <laughs> I don't wipe that way. <laughs> so, this is really TMI, isn't it? I wipe one and then I go in back and wipe the other. Sideways! I have a really big ass. Very big ass and big everything. No, I can wipe myself, obviously. Why do people why are people like so obsessed with how people wipe their ass? <laughs> but you know what? I do wonder it sometimes. I don't know if people are obsessed, Chantal, or they're just literally trying to figure out the physics of it all, but Here's a better question. Why are you answering this? <laughs> Can't blame disgusting questions in your chat. It, you should be used to it, but now why do you answer? Yeah. Swiss roll. Thank you for the super chat, girl. We're getting through the second stream from last night, and then we're going to move on to today and what's going on and buying a TV. Oy. Brush your teeth. I'm going to. I'm in Orleans. At the villa. For my dirty llama. I'm going to get this place really nice. It's going to be a luxury villa. You're going to see. The money doesn't hit until tomorrow. <laughs> are you a YouTuber, Agatha? Do you get AdSense or you just know how it works? Everybody knows how this shit works at this point. Like, everybody knows YouTube Payday 21st. We've been following this, the, the, the cycle of fights with you and Crackhead for months now. Everybody knows your Payday, Chantal. Don't be surprised. It's very strange to make money this way. I'm so fucking thankful. I'm just really like, I need to be smarter about everything. I don't know if I want to take this job, you know, on top of that. I don't know, it'd be something to do. You know, I can put my music and stuff and use my GPS and the people come to the car and like, I don't know, what if I get, yeah, I would be afraid to get like hijacked or something. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to do that. I don't think I'm going to do it. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do it. Yeah, surprise, surprise, surprise. She's already changed her mind in the same live stream. She didn't lie about any of this. None of this was a lie. She just changed her mind. Just Ozzy, thank you so much for Super Chat, girl. I didn't get it, but to be fair, I haven't been to the P.O. Box at all this week. I will be going tomorrow morning, so I'm sure I'll get it then. Thank you for, so much for sending me one, girl. I will send you one back. You're lucky people love a train wreck or you'd be broke. You're right. Curly. It's my business what I do with my free time. I have to start setting boundaries. <laughs> Don't you guys think so? I mean, come on. I'm just trying to be fair to myself, too. Uh, my hair looks like buffalo hair right now. Oh, God. I need to get a t-shirt that says, I'm not responsible for triggering you. Right? I mean, I'm not. Or is that too, like, is that like an ass? Am I an asshole? Like, I'm really not trying to be. I need, like, objectively, am I really an asshole? <laughs> Egyptians in Canada, I know. Egyptian men are so hot. Freaking Iraqi men are hot, too. Yeah. All, men from everywhere are hot, but do you know what I mean? I just... Yeah, well, let me correct myself so y'all don't say I'm still uh, fetishizing certain men in certain countries and whatever. Uh, so let me just say, men from anywhere are hot. But you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean is that I actually find I have a hard on right now <laughs> for like uh, North African men, Middle Eastern men. So right now that's hot. You know what I mean? But I don't fetishize anyone. I learned one Arabic word in nine months. I clearly respect the culture and I'm interested in it. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm not going. I'm going by myself for Christmas. What? Who smells like what, Curly? Who? Are you talking about like BO smell? I like a little bit of BO, honestly. Like, I don't know. Like, I like a, a musky nail smell sometimes. Like, you know, like, in the early morning and the sun's just coming out. There's only, like, a few dim beams of sunlight entering the room. 
and one of them, and this is, I'm not trying to sound sappy, but this actually happened. One of them lands on his face, and you open your eyes and look at him. I'm not saying which person this happened with. I'm not saying it was Nader or BB or whatever. But it happened with one man I was with. And he opens his eyes, his most beautiful eyes ever. Very mysterious. And I could vomit while I was editing this. I literally puke. I'm not telling you who it could be. It could either be Koki or BB. Okay, yeah. We've gone over BB so many times on the channel. You guys know how I feel about BB. I adore BB. BB will always be for Chantal, the one that got away. As much as I adore BB, here's what you can't say about BB. You can't say BB has like mysterious eyes. Okay. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> BB kind of has like dopey looking eyes. I like them. They're innocent. There's like a, a naivete about his eyes. I definitely wouldn't say there's mystery there. That is not the look of BB. She's talking about Koki. And it makes me want to puke because she just said, he had, with me in context in mind, he has the most beautiful eyes. Yo, Chantal, we have seen him. Like, we know Koki now. Calling, remember at the beginning, oh, he's so hot when nobody knew what he looked like? You got away with that shit. Beautiful eyes, where? Oh, yeah, listen, I would take BB's eyes over Koki's eyes any day of the week. Like I said, BB has very, like, naive, innocent, like, kind eyes. I didn't mean it as a, as a put down to, to BB at all. I'm just saying mysterious eyes is not the look. That is not how I would describe it at all by any means BB's look. I would describe it like that. Kind, naive, you know. Um, she's talking about Koki, and it's gross. Yeah, she did say his eyes were black and scary. It's what he's known for, and she did say it. But now they're they're beautiful and they're mysterious. Vom. <laughs> then, what a fucking! I should write for Harlequin. They wouldn't even hire me. And then, I'm not gonna get sexy. But then, no, this really happened. Fuck. And you just like looking at them, like feeling so lucky to be there in that moment, and oh, just like. Okay, remember this moment, remember this moment. Remember how it smells, remember how it tastes. Remember how it feels. Remember this moment, remember this moment. Remember how it smells like cigarettes and ashtray. Remember how it tastes. Probably also like cigarettes and baba ganoush. And remember how it feels. It feels uncomfortable because you're sleeping on a used trap house floor mattress. Let's cut this shit. We are not in a fucking Harlequin romance, okay? We're going to bring this shit right back down to reality. She's talking about Koki and waking up in the trap, okay? Let's cut the shit here, Meg. And then you don't realize later when you end it with that person, you're going to use it as a weapon against yourself. So you're going to use it to torture yourself. You're going to think of it. it really sucks. Curly, listen, I'm not going to take life advice, okay? I don't like when people give me lectures. I'm just joking. <laughs> what do you mean I have nothing to do all day? I have a lot of things to do. Jeez. When the camera's off, I am a bit the same. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I am pretty much the same, but I feel like a part of me feels like a, a little bit of a character, and I don't even realize it until I really think about it. Embracing your obesity. I'm not, it's not that I'm embracing the obesity, L. I believe me, I want to be healthy more than ever I do. <laughs> Beach ball. And it's just that, uh, I just don't want to feel like shit about myself in the meantime, like while I'm working on myself. I, I want to feel like I have the rights to love myself as I am and improve myself at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, I just, yeah, I'm not diet cycling anymore. I just, I, there's so much less stress, guys. Like, I'm not losing, losing. But you know what? My body's plateaued right now. Whatever. I I feel so much less stress not counting calories and shit. I just eat when I'm hungry. And I try not to overdo it. Like Talking about her body plateau. Get off of my screen. That's it. 